And just before you let it go, tell people that the reason that you've got your head against the wall is so that when you let the ball go and it swings back at your face, you can't possibly move your head backwards out of the way. Well, yeah, but unfortunately that's a big lie. Because you don't do it for that reason. You put your head against the wall, not so you can't move it backwards, put your head against the wall so that you know you haven't moved it forwards. <laughs> oh yeah, that would be the dumb thing to do. And if my wife was here, she would tell you, yes, he has been that dumb on several occasions. One of them, I'm in high school, and just like here, the wall isn't close enough. So I thought, well, no big deal. I'll just pull the ball back, and then when I let it go, I'll stand very, very still. Unfortunately, without thinking, I let forwards about three inches keep my balance. Well, that was about two and a half inches too far, it turned out. Because the ball came back, smacked me in the nose. Didn't hurt that much, it wasn't traveling that fast. But it must have just caught my nose wrong, because it did start it bleeding. And there I am, on stage, in front of 200 high school students, blood coming down the front of my shirt, getting the biggest round of applause that I ever had in my life. Oh yeah, not a whole lot of sympathy at that age, I found out. There's people, yeah, do it again, see if you can break it next time. No, not supposed to be bleeding up here. So, when you go home, you do not try these things on your little brothers and sisters, okay?